Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start with today's date. January 2nd, 2024. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Then, we will explore nonfiction books and features. After that, we will write about things we know a lot about. Last, we will write our first and last name. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, class family, let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start in the top right-hand corner with today's date. I notice we're in a brand new month. Do you recall the month we're in? I know it starts with J, J. Which month is it? If you said January, great job. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. We're going to go ahead at this time and reread the whole date. Before we do that, notice the capital J for January. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. Okay, kindergartners, we're going to go ahead at this time and reread. January 2nd, 2024. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday and it's a terrific Tuesday. Notice the capital letter that starts that sentence. Good writers start sentences with capital letters. As we are rereading, notice how every telling sentence begins with a capital letter. All right. Are you ready to continue to reread? We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. You know we do that every day to work on being a portrait of a graduate. And we are doing this by working on being a great communicator and collaborator. Remember, good communicators speak clearly with their mouth and listen with their ears. Okay, let's see the order of what we're doing this morning in language arts. First, next, then, and last. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Just like we do every day at school in kindergarten, we review letters and sounds and use many resources, including our word wall to review letter sounds, pictures to match that word, and American Sign Language. Okay, on this resource with the foundations cards, the vowels have red in the background. Review the short vowel sounds with me, kindergartners. A, apple, a, e, ed, e, i, itch, i, o, octopus, a, and u, up, a. In addition to our war bowl, we have many other resources that we use to help us learn letters and sounds, including our sound wall. We have one in class. We have one that's going to be projected on the smart board, the electronic version, because we're also using UFLY. And we're going to be reviewing letters, sounds, and some short vowel words that we're going to be reading together and sounding out, tapping the beginning, middle, and ending sound and saying the whole word. And then we're also going to get up and do the CVC word song to tap out the beginning, middle, and ending sound and saying the word again. What a great review as we come back together in kindergarten for this new year. Okay, let's see what we're doing next. Next, we'll go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Okay, so you are going to be going on your iPads for Lexia Core 5 reading program. And we're also going to do some other centers within the classroom to help review as we are coming back to school from our two-week vacation for winter break. So we're going to be matching lowercase letters. We're going to be reading books. We're going to be doing some other box centers within the class and writing the room. We still have some things up that you can go around, write those words down, and pump your brains with knowledge as we're back together at school. 
Then we will explore nonfiction books and features. We will remember nonfiction texts teach, inform, and explain real things. We're going to be exploring different nonfiction texts and we're going to be looking at the text and seeing many things like photographs and different text features that we're going to be noticing about these books that are nonfiction text. We have many different ones we are going to be looking at and seeing. And as you are looking at some of these resources, we're going to think, hmm, what is a nonfiction text? Remember, nonfiction text teach, inform, and explain real things. So we're going to be exploring some nonfiction text and we're going to be seeing some of those features, including photographs, captions, we have headings, subheadings, we have things that are in bold print, labeled, highlighted, all kinds of great things, glossaries, it's going to be awesome. After that, we'll write about things we know a lot about. We're going to brainstorm ideas together. That's what good writers do. We're going to make a list and think about ideas of things that we know a lot of information about. So think, hmm, what do you know about? Is there an animal that you know a lot about? Do you know how to do something like growing something or making something? Let's brainstorm a list together to, as a class family and write everything down on the chart paper. And we're going to be practicing writing and reading that and thinking, hmm, what do you know a lot about? And what idea are you interested in writing about for this week in school? Okay, so last we'll write our first and last name, Love Miss Joyner. We will. We're going to be practicing. You're going to use your resource for your first and last name on your laminated strip. You're going to use your dry erase marker, the skinny one, to practice using these foundations lines with the skyline, plain line, grass line, and worm line. You're going to write your first and last name, making sure you do great letter formations and leaving finger spaces in between parts of your name, like your first name and your last name. Okay. And we're going to just have a wonderful day back at school in kindergarten. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question for today in our T chart? of yes or no answers is, do you like Holly? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share why. Do you like Holly?